hurt. I think we got rid of the ghosting of my hands, because after all, you know, as well as I know, that we know, that I talk with my hands, as you know, because we say one way, that way, this way, which way, I don't know. <laughs> but we're back! Cool! We've been working on this camera for, I don't know, maybe four hours now, trying to figure out where to record, what plants to put, no, actually, what's right behind me is nor my normal setup. I have a uh, kind of a green thumb, you could say. Me? What do you think, Wandering Jew? Do I have a green thumb? <laughs> Looks purple to me. Oh, well. But the reality is that I enjoy plants, so my house or apartment that we live in is full of plants that my wife loves. Really, she does. Really, re really, really, she does. <laughs> that uh, because it's a part of my life, I like to share it, you know, in life because it feels as though God, using creation, often spoke to us by revelation of his deity through not only what he created, but also as he spoke through his creation to all of us. I mean... Frankly, he used Balaam's mule, donkey, jackass. <laughs> but such as it was, you know, he used it. And I feel like God can use anything he wants to in order to talk to you and me. Hello? Okay, maybe not a plan. Did you hear that? <laughs> but he could use a video like this. He could use the internet. He could use me, you know, to talk to you because God is in me. And as he is, then by his Holy Spirit, he can choose to use whatsoever diversity of gifts that he chooses to use. Because if you think that the gifts of the ones that are listed are the only ones that there are, then you got a lot more to learn about what the gifts are. Because guess what? The gifts could be anything that he decides that was given to us by way of him giving it to us, which would be a gift. Life would be a gift. Wow. Sounds like a Romaine teaching. <laughs> oh, Romaine, where are you? Well, I know you're in heaven. Yeah, you're guarding the streets of gold, you know. Okay, okay, okay. But enough of that. Thank God we're back, you know, and I praise the Lord for your prayers, you know, those of you that prayed, those of you that didn't, I got your name and number. But I'm a little excited, a little tired, a little worn out by all this time that's been spent in trying to coordinate the video ministry back into existence. Because we've gone a whole week with this little tiny, kind of like, I don't even know what it was. It was good for laptops, I guess. Only I don't have a laptop camera. That was interesting. It was fun to play with, but just didn't accomplish what I wanted the orbit sphere for. And so, praise the Lord, now, you know, we're able to do more, hopefully accomplish more, and share more about the things that we love the things we care about, the things we've heard, the things we've handled with our own hands, even not just the Word of God, but Jesus who is himself the Word made flesh, and that he dwelt among us, and that he dwells in us, and he still dwells among us, because there are people that really, he look like Jesus, because he might come knocking on that door, I might have to leave and interrupt this video, while he takes me somewhere else that wants to talk to me. Could that happen? Could happen to you. Because you know what? It's already happened to me. And the only thing I can tell you is that, hey, if the Lord comes knocking on your door, open up, let him in. Let the sun shine in. Let the S-O-N shine in. <laughs> the sun shine in. Yeah! You got to have a sense of humor. We got the camera back. Now we get to play. Oy vey! Actually, I'm a little excited because, frankly, Friday nights or Saturday nights, we try to pick one or the other because my wife and I like to dance. Footloose! <laughs> and uh, I'm a dancer. I've been a dancer all my life. And I love dancing. I have always just, oh, just exploded in dance, just rejoicing in it and having fun, 
laughing and carrying on and people laugh at me and carry on and they all get a kick out of it because frankly when I dance it's just an expression of joy I mean the one time in my life that I just I let all of it out whatever it is that I am that God has created me to be and praise God I, I enjoy my time in Israel when we had for us you know and we could dance in public you know and we could dance, you know, in, you know, clubs or whatever it may be that you went to, you know, to dance or, you know, at Shabbos or wherever it may be that you decided to dance that it was fun. You know, a frabbergan. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that's Hasidic dancing. We get a little joyful. Yeah! <laughs> but uh, I love dancing. So tonight, I'm a little excited because I think we're going out dancing. And, you know, if there's a better band playing somewhere else, we'd probably go tomorrow night instead. But... Yeah, we just go to these little native casinos where, unfortunately, it's not a club. No big lights, no dark, misty corners, no strange things going on, no body grooving, moving, you know, stuff. But uh, it's kind of like out on the carpet, you know, and it's well lit, and everybody can see you. You know, and it's kind of like for bands, but they leave a space for dancers, and it's fun. And I have fun with it. And, you know... The Lord likes to watch me dance, and I rejoice in it, and I have a blast. My wife laughs and carries on, and we come home thoroughly exhausted, dead to the world, wiped out, because that's our exercise. <laughs> or for me it is. <laughs> boy, my wife's okay, but boy, I tell you, man, when I dance, I got some moves. <laughs> yeah, hey, we know. That's right. Or what is it? That's right. Now, it may not be breakdancing, but you know what? We could break bread together, you know, and get down on our knees and pray and share and care for each other. And then you discover that, you know, you could go dancing with me too. And we could have fun. Because God wants you to be real in life. He wants you to recognize that God is with you. And so because he is, you can rejoice in what you're doing. That... Those things that aren't profitable, you know what they are, that it's going to hurt your health or, you know, mess you up. You know what they are, you know, so don't do them. But the things that, you know, are fun, that have no real consequence, that are just rejoicing, hey, you know, don't worry about what other people say. Do it. You know, if you like, you know, being... I don't know, I can't even think of the movie, but somebody, you know, who runs across the thing, you know, through the hallway and slides across, makes a groove slide, you know, that uh, if that makes you laugh and sing before God, then do it. But rejoice in it. Because God delights in his children when you are happy and joyful and when you're loving. So if you can learn to be like little kids and laugh and enjoy your life rather than worry about tomorrow for tomorrow to take care of itself and you know the bills and all the rent and no job and no money and no this and no that but you could you know celebrate then I would say you know there's more to worship than you know just Sunday morning you know Sunday night or some worship service sometimes it's just you expressing yourself to God in a wonderful way Maybe in a humble way. Maybe in a way that blesses others, even as you're a blessing today to me. Because I'm back to share Jesus again. With my orbit sphere! <laughs> it's a little round ball, you know? And it looks like a world. It looks like a little eye that, you know, has a red thing and it goes like, How? <laughs> no, it's not. But it is fun to take the time to share with anyone and everyone or no one that would watch these videos and discover you ever see that idiot over there you know man he just looks like he's having a good old time with Jesus and that's the point of the ministry learning to have a good old time with Jesus <laughs>